Or that nylons don't have legs, but they can still run. Ooh. Or that the early bird catches the worm. Yeah. Yeah. Who eats worms? Ooh. Ooh. Now everybody close your eyes and tell me what you see. Lollipop. Christmas. Facelift. Popcorn. Alimony. Magic. Friends. Even 
sand blocks of Mother's Day. Uh. Calls yes. for two hypocrites, <laughs> takes oh. off the rose from the fair forehead of an innocent love, and sets a blister there. Will you settle down? You're gonna drive me crazy with all this racket. I can't help it, Father. I'm 25 years old. Mm. Educated. Good looking. <laughs> An heir apparent to your whole kingdom, and I'm still not happy. Now, son, I was once like you. 25 years old. Educated. Good looking. <laughs> Give it a rest. <laughs> And heir apparent to my father's kingdom, but there was one thing that I did not have also. Uh, what's that, father? Someone to share it with. Someone to make all my hard work worthwhile. Someone to teach the stars to shine. I knew that. Uh, but father, why didn't I think of that before? Because I'm king. When you're king, there'll be plenty of other things for you to discover. And this girl, father. The one who will make it all worthwhile. Yeah. Did you find her? No. That's why I married your mother. <laughs> but father, I want to meet someone wonderful. Someone who will help me make those kingly decisions. Someone who I can spend quiet time talking to. Who will want to take my walks through the meadow with me. Son, what do you want? A wife? or a golden retriever. <laughs> Why don't you just let me take care of everything? But father, <laughs> you didn't have very good luck the first time. Enough about that. <laughs> I'll find you a bride. Trust me. <gasps> I've got an idea. I'll throw a royal ball in your honor and we'll invite all the unmarried maidens in my kingdom. Except, of course, for maiden Everly. But, you know, her. she's the maiden with the King Kong hairdo and that single eyebrow. <laughs> That's not fair. Everyone should be invited. Ah, you're right. After all, we need somebody to work the parking lot. <laughs> but, Dad, you're missing the point. I want to marry someone I'm in love with. Someone who wants to share her, her, her whole life with me. Someone who I haven't met before. Oh, but when we meet, I know it will last forever. You know, as someone like Mom. <laughs> Nonsense! How do you think your mother and I met? Ooh, I don't know, really. I just assumed it was incredibly romantic, like something out of a storybook. Storybook? <laughs> it was more like Godzilla meets the Smog Monster. Mon <laughs> hey, come to your senses, son. Someday you shall be king, and you must rule with dignity. Even if you have to fake it. <laughs> Whoever thought to your own self you could be true. Uh, but father, wouldn't a rose by any other name still smell as sweet? Uh, where have I heard that before? It's settled. I shall arrange the ball, and you shall choose your bride from the ladies who attend this evening. Crier and settle. Town crier. <laughs> Like to frown. I like to go dancing. You like to sit. 
be a ball this evening. <laughs> That's nine o'clock central time, seven o'clock Pacific. All eligible maidens should attend. <laughs> Wow, it's a good thing I wasn't giving away free coupons. <laughs> And you, Sue. 
Cinderella, get to work on those dresses. You know, things would be a lot easier if you would just understand, Cinderella. <laughs> understand what, stepmother? That the root of your problem is that you don't look like me. Or me. Or me? <laughs> get back to work. Let's go, girls. I have to tell you what I want Meanwhile, on the other side of the kingdom, the domestic problems continue to aggravate. My father just doesn't understand. He doesn't realize how happy you can be when you found someone that you love. But I knew that. All my life, all I ever wanted was to, to feel wanted, to feel needed. With a wife by my side, I could be the greatest of all kings. And at the end of our days together, we could sit and look back at that life we've had. There's got to be a way to find her. I know if I get one more brochure from that together in this dating club, I'll scream! from that mirror. Miss Bella, you've had it long enough. I have to make sure that I'm pretty enough for the prince. Do I have anything in my teeth? <laughs> I can't believe with a face like that you would actually want to look in a mirror. I just about had it with you, Miss Bella. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, yeah. take this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Girls, girls, girls. I always take her side. Let's not forget who the ugly one around here is. We should be thankful for the looks that we have. <laughs> because someday we could wake up and look like her. Yeah. You're right, Mommy. Lola is no. sorry. I'm sorry with all your well, fault. Not horrible. Besides, they say beauty is only skin deep, whereas ugly goes right to the bone. Oh. Why, you ungrateful wretch. Oh. Get back to your chores oh. before I lose my temper. Now, girls, if we don't leave soon, we will be late for the ball. And I know you want your chance at that handsome hunk of a prince. Uh, yes, why, glad to meet you, your highness. Why, yes, I would love to dance. That's all wrong, Prince Bella, let me show you. Why, yes, your majesty. Excuse me, your majesty? Why, no, I've never had that myself, but I believe talcum powder is oh. the best cure. Girls, girls. <laughs> Enough. Off we go to the ball, and you, Cinderella, have enough work to do, so keep busy. <laughs> and you won't even realize that we've gone. I still think it's unfair that I don't get to go to the ball, so. Need I remind you of the smells oozing from the sewage treatment plant? No, I'll Off we go. Yes, good, let's go, oh, girls. All alone again? Maybe I can pretend that I'm dancing with the prince. What's that? Who's there? Excuse me, is this uh, 126 Magic Mountain Lane? Why, yes, it is. And does a Mr. Cinderfeller live here? Well, no, but a Miss Cinderella does. No, no, it says here, Mr. Cinderfeller, five foot six. Good looking. Enslaved by an evil stepmother. Oh, well, I'm enslaved by an evil stepmother. Oh, well, now we're getting someplace. <laughs> you know, I was expecting to see some uh, fat old chimney sweep who thought chewing tobacco was socially attractive. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. There's just me here, all alone. No one to talk to. Floating in a void, alone in solitude. All right, already, I get the point. Uh, why so sad, child? Oh, well, it's nothing, really. Just one more slight against my character caused by the vicious meanderings of my evil stepfather. Oh, and talk. allowed by this outdated monarchy that does not allow free men and women to express their opinions openly in a form which they do not fear. Wow! Have you ever thought about going into politics? No, that's for children. <laughs> I just want to go to the ball! Today must be your lucky day, for that's why I'm here. I don't understand. I'm your 
fairy godmother, and I'm here to grant you one wish. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Since the enlightenment of time, man has not put faith in ghosts or fairies such as yourself. You know, for a sweet kid, you sure have a mouth on you the size of the music hall. Well, if I'm not your fairy godmother, then how do I know that when you were a little girl, you baked two dozen cookies for a certain jack Oh, brat! Oh, how did you know that? Naughty little girl, weren't you? You knew that Jack Sprat could eat no fat. Oh, but I thought he could eat no lean. Oh, that was his mother. Shame, shame. And if I'm not your fairy godmother, then how did I get you an invitation to tonight's ball? Oh, an invitation to the ball? Oh, I do believe. I do. And if all you out there believe in fairies, clap your hands together. I'm not Peter Pan. And you're no Tinkerbell. Oh, fairy godmother, I can't go to the ball dressed like this, and I have nothing else to wear. Now, don't you worry about a thing. Oh, kids today are so impatient. So, so just let me find my magic cookbook, and we'll get started. Yes? All right, let's see, now I need a, uh, uh, margarine, you know, butter gorilla, mm, mm, margarita, no, no, uh, maracas, uh, no, 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 maple fur. Too late. Uh, <laughs> magic, magic, yes. Yes, now let's see. We need, we need one pumpkin, extra large. Well, that will do, that will do. Uh, uh, three mice. Preferably blind ones. Yes. <laughs> and a whole lot of luck. Well, now that we have these things, what do we do? Well, now we say the magic words. But I don't know any magic words. Oh, sure you do. Now, what do you think about when you want all of your fantasies fulfilled? When you can have everything beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs> when people everywhere will look at you and know that you have every possession you ever could have dreamed of. <laughs> Donald Trump! That's right! <laughs> Now I sing. Hit it!
Only love can give you the true happiness you're looking for. I was once in love. But he was a king and could never give me any attention. That's when I went into magic. Oh, yes, fairy godmother. Everything is so beautiful. And well, look at these slippers. They're made out of glass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were on shoe on a sale at the shoe outlet and I got it for a song. <laughs> there are some things you must remember. I see. The magic will wear off at 12. And all your things must go back to the mall. The stroke of midnight, all your things will become as they were. Oh, I'll remember, fairy godmother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Off you go. Have a good time. Say hello to the king for me. Oh, I will, fairy godmother. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, Cinderella. We know how I did it. <laughs>
did. Well, do you have a ride home? <laughs> you don't understand. I am intoxicated with you. Your Majesty.
The prince and I are searching for the foot that fits that slipper. 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 <laughs> That'll be all. Run along. Father? Hmm? I think she's the one. Well, then we don't have a moment to waste. We won't let this one get away. Cinderella. I 
knew that. I did. I would be delighted, Your Majesty. <clears throat> well, I guess that's about all for you, ladies. Go! Better heads on a mug of ale. You be pleased to know I've made some room for you all at the castle. Look out! Are we going to the castle? So I discovered the dungeon to be lovely in the factory. Turn it on! No! 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 Where are you? Come on out, I know you're here. Those glass slippers give you away every time. <laughs> is it safe to come out? Of course it is. Nice work today. Couldn't have done better myself. How oh, nice. It really was the least I could do. You know, I've been thinking about you since the day I left. It has been a while. Well, if you're agreeable, I'd like to come back home. Well, time has taken away the pain. Well, most of it, anyway. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, I never got over losing you. And I never found anyone to take your place. <coughs> How sweet. <coughs> Well, Kingy Wingy, I also am available at the moment. Oh. Maybe we can put our two heads together and come up with a mutual understanding. <coughs> Works for me. Shit, what's up,